All right, guys, we got a problem. We got a problem, and you know I'll solve it. So we got this left over from Thanksgiving. That is an entire turkey. For some reason, two turkeys just wasn't enough for 20 people. Was, was more than, one turkey was enough for 20 people. So, uh, yeah, we got this whole turkey over here. Look, cat's already creeping. She is already creeping. So are the dogs. Oh, goodness. All right, so we got to figure out something to do with all this daggone turkey. So uh, I guess it's off to the grocery store. Man, am I really setting myself up for failure here. This is the day after Black Friday, and I am going to Walmart. The reason why I'm going to Walmart is because, well, <laughs> I got about a $25 budget to figure out what we are going to do with all this stuff. All right, so uh, let us brave the madness. Say, it's amazingly actually kind of nice in here. So, uh, what the plan is, is we are going to make three different dishes and a lot of it um, with the turkey that we have. So, we're going to do a turkey pot pie casserole kind of thing with some biscuits. We're going to do some turkey noodle soup, something that we can freeze and heat up later in life. Uh, and we're going to make some turkey croquettes. Those we're going to cook off, and then we'll be able to keep those in the fridge for a few days and then eat them a couple of days later, so that way we're not just killing ourselves with eating turkey for the next week. <laughs> All right, so first thing we got to get is our stuff for the turkey, uh, for the, uh, the casserole. So we're making our way back to the dairy area so we can get our biscuits, and uh, then we're going to uh, hit these aisles real quick, so... Yeah, this is going to be a fun trip. I'm not going to vlog the whole trip because there's already a pretty good amount of people in here and I ain't trying to impose and or get no kind of legal nonsense, all right? And this gravy aisle got hit up. <laughs> all right, so yeah, we're going to go with the good old-fashioned cheapo chicken gravy for these. we got three cans of this, all right? And this is the, so that the turkey doesn't taste like turkey anymore. <laughs> We want it to taste more like chicken, so we're going to go chicken gravy with it instead and hopefully try to mask that turkey so that way we're not going crazy. All right, we also got our biscuits, and we got some pretzel rods for another project that we're working on today. All right, so, yeah, onward to the next area. Yeah, I know, we're cheating again, but remember, we are on like a $20 budget here, so we're going to get some loaded baked Idaho. <laughs> And we're going to use that for the, the kind of the, the glue for our croquettes. All right. Uh, we're getting the loaded baked because it's going to add a little extra flavor to it. And I also grab some parsley for it as well. Last thing we need is some noodles for the so So, looks like my camera decided I wanted to be a butthole. All right. So, here we go. We need some noodles and some mixed vegetables. And then we will be good to go with all this. All right. And going to Walmart turned out to be a great idea. So if you go super early, you can be in and out in like 15, 20 minutes, which is exactly what I did. Um, so the total for everything to come up with the the total for everything to come out for all three dishes that we're planning here was eleven dollars and fifty six cents. And we got everything we need. We're gonna be eating turkey for the month. Uh, <laughs> so basically. Let me let this traffic get by here. We are, uh, we're getting ready to go. We are, we are ready to rock and roll. And, uh, yeah, we just saved a ton of money. And, you know, if you're, if you're tight on cash, that's definitely the way to go. And we bought a bunch of cheap stuff, cheap product stuff. But trust me, by the time I'm done with it, it's not going to taste cheap. All right? So, uh, yeah, stick around and, uh, we'll get to cooking. All right, guys, we got back to the house here. And we are, uh, we have, uh, ripped our turkey apart. Look at all that turkey we got off of this thing. It's ridiculous. That is an entire bacon cheese just piled high with it. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty nuts. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this carcass in a stock pot with an onion and some carrots, a little bit of garlic, and some celery if you have it. I don't have celery, so I won't be using it, but we're going to make a stock right here with this carcass and all the fat and all the drippings and all that fun stuff in there. All right? So I'm going to get that going, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like guys so here we are we got everything in the pot the only thing we got to do is add water we got the entire turkey carcass all the bones all the fat and the juices and all that good stuff we got a couple onions whole some carrots 
and we went salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika, and a little bit of parsley flakes. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and kind of top this off with water to the point of where it can just enough to cover the carcass, and then we're gonna put it on heat there, and we're gonna let it go for about two hours. All right. Um, now after this comes to a simmer, all the fat's gonna start coming to the top, and you wanna skim that off about every 20 minutes. And, you know, we'll, we'll get back to that, and I'll show you that when we get there. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in about, let's say a half hour. All right, so here we are breaking up the turkey for our croquettes. So while our stock is going, we're gonna go ahead and maximize our time, and we're gonna get some of the other stuff working, okay? Now, the casserole is gonna be the last thing that we do. That's pretty easy, but look at all that turkey we got left over. All right, so our stock is looking strong. We got some water boiled for those instant mashed potatoes. And uh, the mashed potatoes and are right here. And we got the leftover mashed potatoes there. We're gonna yeah. kind of throw that in with it too. Oh, and I'm here, hello. And Lily's here, she's our camera person for today. I, I, I hurt my fingers. She so. hurt her hand, so she's gonna be handling the camera instead. All right, so let's try to keep that thing steady, all right, Joe? <laughs> and there's an egg wash. Oh, Make it looks a, like a smiley face. It does. It does. <laughs> I saw a smiley face in the egg wash. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, so here we are. <laughs> going with our little thing. Now, you want to break up this turkey as fine as you can. You still want it to be turkey, all right? Um, you don't want to completely grind it down for the croquettes or else you're going to have, like, it's going to taste like one of those, like... Are these all the eggs we need for the egg wash? Yeah. Yeah, we just got to beat them to that little water tone. So, we are going to... Can I whisk it? Yeah, you can whisk them. Should I just use, like, a wooden spoon? No, use a fork. Use a fork? Yep. Use a fork to whisk eggs. Forks. Yes, we do. What are you talking about? This is a house in America. We have forks. All right. There we go. Yes. Yeah, so that's kind of what you're looking for for these croquettes that I'm making. And we um, have, like, a lot of, like, chocolate covered pretzels because we literally just made a bunch. Yeah, we just got done making a whole bunch of chocolate covered pretzels and stuff. Um, so, yeah, we've been kind of in the kitchen all day today. Except I've made two, <laughs> two trips to Walmart today. So, all right. So if that looks like it's, we're gonna need a little bit more turkey, all right? So and I'm whisking up the eggs with a fork. Yeah. So we're just gonna break this up as well as we can. Now, if you have a food processor, you can go ahead and use that for this. But I don't. I mean, I do, but I don't feel like using it for this. I like to have chunks of turkey in my stuff. You can grind it down if you want, but then it's gonna be almost like a. Uh, like a store bought or a uh, like a frozen bought croquette consistency. All right, so we got about a third of the turkey used, and here is our filling for our croquettes. Now this is still kind of hot though, so we want to cool this down so that we can work with it with our hands, so that we can ball it up and make croquettes out of it. All right, so we got our egg wash and our breadcrumb set. So we're gonna put this in the fridge for about 15, 20 minutes, just to let it cool down, just to take the heat off of it, and then we'll. Uh, We'll be back and we'll roll these bad boys up and get them in the oven. All right, so at this point, this is the important part, okay? If there's anything else that you want to add to this filling, now is the time to do it. All right? And another thing that you want to do is you want to get your oven preheated to about 375, 400 degrees, all right? And that is boiling. And deep. our stock is doing amazing. And we use up the water to make the instant mashed potatoes. Yep. So, and look at all, all that turkey we still have left from other meals. Yes. So much turkey! Go. We're gonna let in that the cool. fridge! And, yeah, see you in about 20 minutes, guys. It's our mission with sneeze -a -miss. The waiting. The waiting is killing me. The bubbling of the stock pot is telling me to do things. <laughs> I just want these damn potatoes to cool off so we can make croquettes. Yeah. Yes. Cut. Part two of Intermission with Sneeze Myths. <coughs> I 
I'm too nice of a guy. <laughs> Alright, let's make some croquettes. Should I cut it? Yeah. Alright, finally we got everything ready to start breading these bad boys, okay? So you want to just ball it up like you're making a snowball, right? And what I like to do is about that size right there, about the size of Lily's fist. Maybe a little bit smaller. Mine and then we're just going to get small. our, roll it in the egg wash. Let it trip out. Is that good? And then hit it with the, roll it around in the breadcrumbs. Make sure it's really is good and good covered. Tinta? That is good. That is good to go. All right, roll it around the breadcrumbs. Make sure it's completely covered. All right. This is the, the nasty part of the job. Now it's going to go on the bacon pit. Just like that. Boom. And there you have it. We're going to have our croquettes looking good. And they're going to be nice and brown and crispy. All right. There we go. Some big old croquettes. Oh, hello. <laughs> what? I know, I made that one maybe a little too big. <laughs> All right. Roll it around. And, excuse me, get in there, cover it up, roll it around, the breadcrumbs, and then kind of reform it. Do it again. I'm waiting for some breadcrumbs, Dada. And, on the pan. Alright, so this is going to make about eight of those, maybe ten, which is good because we're feeding about five people with them. So, and most of our family eat like two or three. Yeah, definitely. Or one. Well, you will eat one. I will eat one. Yes. And probably like a half. <laughs> so this part of the process, if you don't have help, will probably take you about five ten minutes. It's not that bad. And like when um, you have help. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have this banged out real quick. <laughs> Who's that glowing? <laughs> Cut some of this end of this video, this this shot out, cause uh, we gotta watch out before we touch my phone. <laughs> not about that life. All right. We can watch the struggle of life with sneezes and roll your clothes off. Really? Really? It's okay, we'll just we'll just fix that. And cut. Oh my god. Oh, this probably goes without saying, but if you're gonna be doing stuff with your hands like this, wash them. Uh, <laughs> do not worry, all hands have been washed. And my glove has been washed. See. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to get a second pan for these croquettes here. And can we make them a little bit smaller? Well, you can make them smaller. You can make these any size you want. I'm going with big ones for I'm gonna make dramatic some, I'm gonna make some camera small, shot purposes. But I'm going to make some small ones for, like, me and mums. All right, we'll Whoever finish, wants the, finish the big ones. Now, if you're going to do smaller ones, remember, the smaller ones are going to cook faster than the bigger ones, all right? But after we get all these plated up, we're going to go ahead and bake these in the oven for about a half an hour. It should already be preheated, all right? So, we'll be back when we get those bad boys out of the oven. There you have it, guys. Fresh out of the oven. All right, so we got this plate. This I also cooked up some green beans and some carrots to go along with this. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go and get this plated up. Yes, That's exactly what we want right there, baby. Mmm, yum. <laughs> 